Well, good day, guys. It's a stinking hot 35 degree day here in uh, regional Victoria. Today I'm heading off over to the Grampian Mountains to a place called Halls Gap. It's one of my favorite places in Victoria. It's about a four hour ride. I could get there a little bit quicker going on the freeways, but I'm gonna cut across country. Hopefully there'll be some good sights to see, but the trip's really about Halls Gap. Anyway, if you've got nothing better to do and you wanna stick along for the ride, then stay tuned. So as you can see, I'm, uh, I'm fully loaded with gear. I've got my uh, Lone Rider bags, the, the Moto bags, the uh, duffel bag. Uh, I've got the Moscow Nomax on the front with all my camera gear. And I'm carrying a full tank of uh, 30 litres of fuel. So uh, I'm really am loaded up and uh, the GSA is feeling like a bit of a big beast. I've taken you on this road before it's one of my favorite stretches of road just uh, down the way from where I live and uh, if you've got a big sports bike you could certainly get your knee down on this now I'm uh, I'm going a little bit uh, what's the word I'm taking it nice and easy I've got a new set of tires actually um, finally got around to swapping out the uh, the stock Bridgestone battle axes and uh, I've now gone with the Michelin Anarchy or Michelin Anarchy um, Adventure so it's a bit more of an adventure tire than the, the battle axe but uh, not a full-on dirt tire For the sort of riding that I do it should be pretty handy the tyres have actually got a different feel to them, it, it, they feel like it tips in a lot a lot quicker. Um, maybe it's because they're new, it just sort of, you get to that pivot point and then it seems to drop in. Um, but tyres are like shoes, you know, they fit everybody differently. So as I said, they're brand new, they've still got the bobbles on them. Uh, I got them changed over when I had my service done at uh, BMW Doncaster. Big shout out to the, those guys, you know, if you're looking for a GSA in Melbourne, uh, definitely go to them. They really do look after you. And there's a guy called Jordi that looks after the service department. He's uh, from France originally. So bonjour uh, Jordi, comment allez-vous? Definitely go and see that, those guys down there, they really will look after you. And when you take your bike in for a service, you either get a courtesy bike or if you live quite a way away, you can just stay there and eat their donuts and coffee um, whilst you're waiting. So a big shout out to BMW Doncaster.
Now I'm not sure if you pick this up on the GoPro but it's uh, really brown and and drying out at the moment as we head into uh, head into summer. So this is a pretty common sight in Australia, um, the level crossing and uh, you can see here we've got a, a train carrying containers so uh, I seem to have found the back, I've, I've arrived at the back end of the, uh, of the train so no big Well guys, been on the road for a while, um, had a few dramas this morning. I um, was on the road for about an hour and then couldn't uh, stand my new Climb Krios Pro helmet any longer. I think uh, it's the first time I've ridden it for any distance, ridden with it for any distance. And it was just slipping down, I just couldn't see where I was going. So I actually had to get under some shade and uh, ring for my son and my son came out for an hour and an hour's drive and dropped it off and dropped off my old BMW helmet so uh, I just pulled over for fuel in uh, just outside Castlemaine um, which if you know anything about beer this is where the Castlemaine 4x brewery originally started in Victoria before they moved it up to Queensland anyway I pulled over it's 37 degrees so uh, I'm gonna have a quick drink fill up with some fuel and then we'll keep going if you're watching this in the UK and you're freezing your balls off uh, I can tell you mate this is a lot a lot worse 37 degrees it's like being in an oven anyway stay tuned Well g'day guys and welcome back to the channel. This is day two of our little trip to Halls Gap. Apologies, uh, there wasn't much in the way of footage later yesterday because uh, I was riding across country at 39 degrees was the highest it got and most of the time it was down to 35. Um, so by the time I got here it was just so hot that uh, I really couldn't bring myself to stop and do an intro video coming into town. I Met my, with my friend David, we put up the tents and uh, we had, went and had a beer. But it's a great morning, it's nice and quiet, everyone's still in bed so I'm just keeping my voice down. And um, you can see there we've got the tent set up. Uh, I'll just pan around with the video camera and uh, you can see what a great site that we're on. And we've got the mountains in the background and uh, moving here and we'll See, I've actually caught up with a couple of friends. So, they're quite tame, the kangaroos on this site. They're very used to people. So we're gonna go and make some breakfast and then we'll uh, set up the bikes and go off and do a few of the tourist spots, some of the lookouts. We'll take the drone, throw the drone up and see if we can get some nice footage. So stay tuned to day two. Thanks guys. So guys, this is the start of day two, and uh, yeah, 
can probably hear the rain because it is pouring down. Are we having fun, Dave? <laughs> so we've gone from 35, 36 degrees yesterday down to about 19 uh, with 92% chance of rain. So we're going to get a bit moist today. Stick around for the fun. So here we are at the world famous Barocca lookout. Um, you can't really see much. Behind me is a that way 30 meter drop down into the rocks below. So people climb over here and fall off and, and die. And quite recently someone sat on that rock there and, and did the same thing. Um, I'll put up a picture of what it should look like right now that's the view that you should normally see uh, but we can't really see anything whatsoever um, yesterday was 39 dropping down to about 35 finally 32 or something and now we've got something like 18 if you're lucky up here and 92% uh, chance of rain so I'll just flick the camera around show you my partner in crime this is my friend David Seed are you having fun Dave beautiful Blackpool weather <laughs> Dave's originally from Blackpool in the north of England which is not far away from where I was born um, and we've go back quite a long way so Dave's ridden over from Adelaide and um, I've ridden over from Whittlesea and uh, we've camped for a couple of nights so uh, that's Baroka lookout I was hoping to put the drone up. I've got the drone with me, but um, I can't even run a GoPro because it's just too too wet. So uh, I'm using the DJI Pocket 2, I think it is. Um, so we'll just try and do a little bit of footage with that. Hopefully the clouds will clear later. So stay tuned to a damp couple of days in Holes Gap. So we're in the middle of the state forest. I nearly just hit a big emu, it ran out onto the dirt track, but obviously it didn't happen because I didn't get it on camera. Now my friend David, he's a seasoned motocross guy, whereas <laughs> I'm a newbie, so I'm going to follow him and he's hopefully not going to stack it. There you go, no pressure now mate. No pressure now. So we've just trekked down to the bottom of Mackenzie Falls. We've got a bit of a break in the weather and the sun's trying to peek through. Now it's easy coming down, but there's a lot of steps. It's a 570 meter walk, but it's all downhill and then it's all back uphill.
go guys, that's a real live emu. Hopefully we'll be able to see that. Try and get a bit closer without scaring him.
So there you go guys, that's been the end of a fantastic weekend. It's been extremely warm, pushing 40 degrees, extremely wet yesterday, and we had a few dramas with my helmet and not been able to do a voiceover. Some might say that's a good thing. Thanks very much to my friend David Seed. He's gonna ride back that way, six hours to Adelaide. I'm gonna go that way about four hours to Melbourne. If you've enjoyed the episode, then don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Please subscribe and stay tuned for further episodes. As always, ride safe and have a great day.